We're here with Australian men's coach Tony Trad. Tony, welcome. Thanks, Gary, and welcome to Inferno TV. Uh, Tony, you've had the recent uh, Trans Tasman Test Series. You guys got up 3 0, um, and you put a bit of a gap on the Kiwis after they've pegged it back a little bit. Um, obviously, that was very pleasing for you. Yeah, I think it was great. You know, for, the result was great, and the way we played, you know, it was pretty good. Um, it wasn't that easy. You know, the, the first test we only just won really on the buzzer after trailing, but um, the last two test matches were pretty good. And yeah, so it was quite happy, and the boys were pleased. And you've got the um, Super Trans has been coming up in February. Obviously, that's going to be a big challenge on their home turf. They'll be looking to pick their best side, and they'll have the crowd behind them. So that's going to be another big challenge for the boys. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the, the Super Trans Tasman's a, um, a great initiative. So we've got all the teams from juniors, opens and seniors. So that in itself is going to be massive. Um, but yeah, as you know, the Kiwis are tough. And in their own backyard, they, um, they'll be smarting from what happened in Mudgee. So we expect them to come back um, harder than they ever have before. And you've, you've currently got a squad. Can you tell us how many is in the squad at the moment? Uh, at the moment, I've got uh, 21 uh, with a couple of camps uh, up my sleeve until we cut it to 16. So um, that process will start in about two weeks' time. Okay. And obviously after the uh, New South Wales-Queensland series, you'll have a few people trying to push the Queensland boys into the team. Um, that's going to be the juggling act, holding on to the players that have been so successful for you and then people trying to push in the new blood. Um, Obviously, you're a smart coach and you'll make the best decision, but there'll be a bit of pressure on you for that. I, I, I think so, but I think the Queensland boys are pushing for themselves, really. They don't need anyone pushing for them. Their performance at Origin is excellent. Um, uh, and realistically, that's what you want. I mean, for the better of Australian touch, it's not New South Wales, it's Australia. Um, we need to have good, good support from Queensland, pressure from Queensland uh, and New South Wales. So while some people are disappointed with Origin or maybe surprised from the overall national perspective it was a great result and good for you obviously there's a lot of new people putting their hand up for australia which is good for the future yeah absolutely i mean you know when, when you look at origin um a lot of the talk especially in men's was oh you know new south wales getting beat but i don't hear a lot being mentioned about how well queensland played and you know i think some of those young kids played outstanding and as you said that that's just great for the future and at the camp you had, uh, the previous camp you had, there was a lot of young guys. You, you blended the mixed and the men's, so you got to look at the overall squad rather than breaking them up straight away into men's and mixed squads. So you've got, actually got to see probably the top 30 or 40 um, guys coming through. That's obviously an advantage because now you know all, all the other guys who are out there as well. Yeah, that's a great advantage. I mean, for us to get to know them, their strengths and weaknesses, and also for them to sort of know what we're looking for, for them to progress. Um, if we have them playing well in the men's and it's also in the women's, it's just going to make a stronger mixed team. So I think that was great. And just finally, um, in your squad of 21, I think there's a bit roughly five or six over 30s player, players. And um, is there any truth to the rumour that Ziadi, Nathan Jones, Robert Nuckley, they're all making the step up to play in our 30s team? Well, these guys are, are driven by excellence. You know, now they've done it in men's, they need to go one step higher, you know, to keep pushing themselves. And it sounds like 30s is the the place to go. Judging by that 30s origin series, it was a cracker. That's great, mate. Now, listen, um, just finally, good luck with the um, Trans-Tasman series over there. Um, you've always done Australia proud as a coach and have been um, an ambassador and one of the greatest coaches that Australia's had. So, mate, good luck over there. Thanks, and thanks Gary. for joining us on Inferno uh, It's a pleasure TV. to be on Inferno TV.